guys, it's Heather from Tomatoes, Puppies, and Everything Gardening. We're going to run outside and we're going to see if we can figure out something uh, to rig up to protect my squash. And uh, I got a couple things at Walmart just randomly walking through, browsing, and thought, let's try it. Because uh, here in Southeast USA, there is a bug called the squash vine borer. It is horrible. It's just very relentless and it's the reason I really don't try to grow squash but I decided okay I've got all these squash seeds I'm gonna try again like a fool we'll see <laughs> anyways um, they um, the moth lays its eggs down at the soil level the uh, larvae bore into the stem of the squash and then that larvae uh, grub looking gross maggot looking thing eats its way all along the vine of squash plants um, other plants can be affected but it is primarily squash um, and they just just complete devastation destruction and you lose your plant it'll you'll go out one day it'll be beautiful one day the next day it is just decimated flat, limp, laid on the ground, and um, you'll see the telltale signs, which is this yellowy, pussy, fraying effect. Um, there's another word for it. I'll look that up and put it on the video here, uh, but let's get outside because it's almost dark. I want to see if I can try to figure out a little system here because um, my, my squash baby, it's already out of the dirt. It's born, so I need to protect it. Uh, I think it popped out yesterday, so let's go see what we can do. Uh, I still have an upside down tomato cage here in this big pot. There's my baby squash. And I think first we'll try the um, mesh netting that I picked up at Walmart. It's basically a laundry mesh bag. I'm just gonna see if it's long enough to cover this whole structure because I want to leave that cage in place for support so that my squash isn't just leaning on the ground. It is a bush type. I did grow this last year and it wasn't in, uh, infected by the borers. So we're gonna keep it protected. The laundry bag didn't work out. So then I got some tall bamboo sticks and I use the screen fabric that you can purchase to replace, um, you know, screens. Like backdoor screens um, it may not let enough water in that was my only concern so you'll see in a clip coming up um, I did come out here when it was raining just to see if water was getting in and some water did get in I'm not sure if enough water is gonna get in so this may not work we're gonna keep watching it for about a week um, but I think this might work at least temporarily came back about 12 hours later you can see my little baby squash is bigger and this is the next day when we were getting some rain you can see some of the rain kind of uh, beating up on the outside of the screen I did check the soil some of it was a little moist and I also wanted to show you I planted a tromboncino squash seed probably gosh two to three days before the other squash and it finally popped out here's some pictures from last year 